the 2024 Kia Carnival in the chroma blue exterior color with the Syntex trim, black seating, beautiful look on this car. We're bringing you a in-depth review video here at Vagabond Builds. Check this out, everybody. Let's bring that to you. Now, as mentioned, we're going to be talking about the 2024 Kia Carnival LX trim. But before we do, if you do like our content, because it's not a sponsored video, tap that like button, subscribe to our channel. We truly appreciate your guys' support here at Vagabond Builds. Also, if you got something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us, we could talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Roseville Kia for providing us this beautiful 24 Carnival for this car review. Keep watching, stay tuned. We're gonna be dropping that MSRP sticker so you guys get an exact idea of what the LX trim comes because there's just so much to talk about in this video. Now let's go ahead and talk Kia Carnival. So kicking this review off, let's talk some engine specs. Now we're looking at a V6 engine, gas direct injection, naturally aspirated, 3.5 liter, comes with an eight speed automatic transmission, 290 horsepower with 262 pounds feet of torque. For anybody who'd like to know a little bit about the MPG on this exact car, it is 19 city, 26 highway, and a 22 combined with a 19 gallon gas tank size, everybody. But let's go ahead and shut this hood and talk Kia Carnival. Beautiful look. So for anybody right off the bat who'd like to know about the exterior paint color, because I do get a lot of comments in the comment section, this is a chromo blue. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Sorry for the mistake if I'm not. But it comes together with that kind of metallic silver, the black gloss. Beautiful look on these Kia Carnivals. Honestly, if you ask me, I'd honestly think this doesn't look like a minivan ex exactly. It's kind of like a hybrid between a minivan and kind of an SUV. And that's what I get word on the street is why people like them so much. But let's talk lighting, okay? LED premium lighting on the front with your LED daytime running lights. We left the hazards on so you guys get an idea of how it looks with your parking marker integrated in the headlight, giving it more of a minimalist or simple look because that parking marker is integrated with the lighting itself. But something I'd like to point out to you guys is we don't have that traditional cover for that headlight. That, that's pretty interesting that we see on this car here. We do see certain other manufacturers might be doing this, but honestly, very interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Another thing is LX model, keep an eye out. You will be seeing different um, bells and whistles on different trims. For example, this is an LX. If you go higher to an EX or an SX, you might get bumper sensors or front camera system, but the LX does not come with the front bumper sensors or the front camera system, okay? On the lower side, to finish off with this front end, you get that kind of matte or metallic silver look with that matte black plastic trim. That takes a beating down the line. These do withhold a lot of beating on the road. Now let's go ahead and talk side of this Kia Carnival and get a load of this new look on the 2024 Kia Carnival. Let's talk some dimensions, everybody. Starting with the length, you get 203 inches with 89 inches and a height of 69 inches. Now, what do you guys think about the look in general? Remember, I was telling you kind of hybrid SUV minivan look, but let's talk about the rim. Rim is a 17 inch. They're running Nexans. Radians GTXs and the size of it is a 235 65 17. The front struts on the suspension is a McPherson strut front with a multi link rear suspension. No wheel well trim. That's one thing that I do like if you've been watching my other videos is that kind of higher class feel when you don't get that matte black plastic wheel well trim. It's just kind of one piece, giving it more of a cleaner look. Moving forward, side mirror, we left the hazard on again, so you guys get an idea of how that integrated lighting looks. Two colors, it, that black gloss, bring that front end over to the side, very nice, shout out to Kia for that, in that chromo blue, and you get the blind spot assist on that side mirror. You have the two-tone door handles, this is the way it opens, your handle pulls out towards you. You can open the side door a few ways. You can open it from your key fob. You could also press this little square button and also pull that handle over towards you and that opens up that side. On the LX trim, you do not have the kick your foot sensor to where if your hands are full, you can just kind of throw your foot down there and it'll open up the side door, okay? On the bottom side of the door panels, 
you get that matte black plastic coming in from the front over to the side, bringing it together. Very good and durable on this Kia Carnival. Something I want to pull to your guys' attention. Pretty cool characteristic here is where they kind of give it a little bit more design with that 3D uh, shaping where it kind of fades out towards the top and the bottom in that silver. Very cool and it comes brings us to the rear end. Let's talk rear end. So starting from the top side of the rear end, of course, the spoiler with your integrated brake lighting system and they hide the windshield wiper under the spoiler, which is very nice because it gives it a cleaner look. Privacy glass with that metallic silver trim. The brake lighting bar going all the way across in the lighting, very cool, kind of gives it that futuristic higher class feel. On the bottom, this is where you open up the tailgate, manually tailgate, so LX is manual. The camera is integrated right over the license plate. And if we drop down, you have rear bumper sensors in that matte black plastic cover with the metallic silver. Hazards we left on, backup lights are right here with your parking reflectors. Now let's go ahead and open up to the cargo area. So let's talk some cargo area. Minimum cargo area is about 40 cubic feet of space. Maximum cargo area with the seats down. 145 whopping cubic feet of space. Now, I did forget to mention that the LX or the Carnival itself comes with the standard 3,500 pounds of towing capacity for the people who'd like to know that, okay? So now let's go ahead and show you how these seats kind of function. You have two straps on both, 60%, 40%er. Pull that, just like that, that drops. And then if we go ahead and pull these levers and pull towards you, it will drop just like that. Slightly heavy. Uh, you guys that have to see what I mean when you guys are here, these kind of have Velcro. And if we go ahead and pop those seats up, you have to pull and it kind of assists you so you don't got to really uh, do much as it's coming up just like that. And we go ahead and pull that back up. Same thing with this, all right? So these headrests also come up just like that, all right, everybody? Now, on the right-hand side of the cargo area, you have a 12 volt, 180 watt outlet, and pretty much that's it, with some cubby room here and here. Now, there is no spare tire on this Carnival, unfortunately, but of course, now you have like triple A, triple a roadside assistance. That is just amazing. So guys, we're pretty much done talking about specs, exterior, and some cargo room. Let's go ahead and jump in the interior. So now sitting on the interior side of the 2024 Carnival, and just let's take a moment and just kind of take in this new Kia Carnival look with this front dashboard. Honestly, this does not feel like a minivan, everybody, or like a van, but pretty cool metallic silver with that design kind of fades out with the black coming together. Beautiful look, eight inch infotainment screen with your manual tachometers and your 4.4 inch digital screen on that driver cockpit cluster display, but leather wrap steering wheel and just a rich feel inside this Kia Carnival. Honestly, for like a whopping $36,000 or whatever it is, you are literally getting a lot for your money. But let's go ahead and bring this interior to you, starting with this door panel. Okay, door panel is that kind of black plastic with that matte silver. Again, that kind of matte black control unit for your windows and your side mirrors, all right? Dropping down, we have some more personal pocket space and a little cup holder down there. On the left-hand side of this manual steering column, you have two buttons to open up both of your sliding doors. You can power that on and off with another button. You have a lane assist button, traction control, and your auto dimmable uh, dashboard lighting system button, okay? Steering wheel, leather wrapped as mentioned with the piano black gloss. You have the cruise control system on the right. On the left, you can control your info card with your music. You'd be controlling the info card with the right button, sorry. Check that out, all right? And this is music and radio media system here, okay? So behind here, you have your control unit for your windshield wipers and your lighting with your signal light system, all right? Coming over to the infotainment screen, go ahead and press menu. It is touch sensitive. You can edit your look, phone projection, pretty responsive. Let's go to media. Bluetooth audio does come with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto right here, AM, FM, 
Bluetooth with USB music. So, I mean, if you shoot over to Roseville, uh, Kia, they will spend time with you because for the sake and time of this video, we do not have time because you will not be watching my videos if they are too long, but here's your climate look and this is what it looks like just so you can get a gist of what it looks like. Now, dropping down again, you have the vents kind of integrated, nice sleek design inside the dashboard. Continuing forward, you have the temperature controls, your heat, it is a knob with your buttons for the airflow, vent, AC, rear, and again, where you want that air to be going. You got the fan in the back, and then you have the rear temperature knobs here. So this is pretty much a rear control uh, bar right here with the rear lock. You don't want people to touch it. That's also cool. Dropping down USB-A plugins. You literally have three here, USB and charging ports. No wireless charging pad on the LX. Keep an eye out for that in different trims. Cup holders, nice and big. Leather wrapped shift knob in that kind of traditional shift knob look. Parking brake, which is in a very convenient location. Drive modes, you have up to four drive modes. You got normal, eco, sport, smart, and then we'll go back to normal, all right? Little bar here, control unit for your heated seats, parking sensors on and off, and your camera. Let's go ahead and press that, and that is your rear camera. And then you get two views on that camera, okay? It's just so people will know. Let's go ahead and open this up. Some cubby room for your personal belongings like wallets, money, things like that. Up top, no sunroof on the LX trim. You get that soft yellow lighting inside here, all right? And pretty simple control unit for your lighting when your doors open. And your rear mirror is that kind of manual uh, rear mirror look. Syntex wrapped seating with the perforated look with that design coming in the uh, center insert. Very cool that they actually added some character to this car and they are manual controls. In front, you have your simple straight to the point glove compartment. We're done with first row seating. Let's go ahead and talk second and third row seating. Now you have second row seating inside the Carnival. Before I move forward, I wanted to clarify that the driver's seat is electrically controlled driver's seat. All right? I didn't want you guys to confuse. I meant the manual seat is passenger. Uh, I mean, passenger is manual controlled and driver is electric controlled. Now we're looking at a 40, 20, 40 second row seating and you can drop this center seat with this here, which opens up to you the armrest with your cup holders and you go ahead and pull that up just like that. And it kind of has that flat Syntex look on the seating trim. Same look on the 40 and the 40 and you can control those through three different ways. To bring the seat forward and back, you have a lever here that you would be sliding forward and back. And then on the side of the seat itself, you have ways to change that uh, center, I mean that backrest, two different ways, okay? Everybody, that is also an option. Armrests on both sides. Now let's go ahead and jump inside the car. You can close the door right here on the A-pillar, right under the O-snap handle, close that door. In front of us, we see pockets, and on the side of your seat, which is different for the Kias, is you have the USB-A plugins on the side of the seats instead of typically on the back of that center console. Cup holders, 12 volt, 180 watt outlet, and some little bit more cubby room, all right? So now, pretty much done. Now, before we go over to the third row seating, one thing I wanna finish the second row seating with is up top, okay? You get that soft yellow lighting, all right, and here are your, your vents, but also on the passenger side is where you get your climate controlling system for the second row or the rear climate control, all right? We can turn that off from here. We can control the vents, which way we want that air to flow and the temperature, all right? So now let's go ahead and open this door and jump inside the third row seating. And right off the bat, everybody, I'm going to show you how it looks. This is a whole lot of room back here. Let's go ahead and even show you guys if we place this back up, just like that. If we go ahead and place this back a little bit and get a load of the room here, even if we drop that seat back, I'm completely clear. I'm about six feet, two inches, so my head is completely clear. Legroom, it is just wide, very convenient on 
the waist area, the shoulder area, and you can literally fit eight people comfortably in this car. This would make, honestly, a good road trip car for anybody who would be um, renting out a car or buying also for the you know longer road trips. On the right hand and the left hand side, USB-A plugins with a cup holder on each side, some personal space up in front of that cup holder and behind for like chapstick change and that stuff. Now, I wanna to mention to you guys, these seats here in the front, you can remove these seats, okay? If you go ahead and drop, or this one moves it back and forth, all right? Same thing with these um, uh, uh, belts, you can move these seats back and forth, sorry, or the backrest, but you can move or remove these seats and take them out so you can get a full uh, cargo area. If you like, for example, take a camping and you wanna place a uh, air mattress in here or something, that is also possible. Now guys, as promised, we're dropping that MSRP sticker. Here is the sticker and exactly what it comes with. Hope you guys appreciated this review. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Thanks guys for watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Stay tuned, we have more things coming. God bless you.